Notorious Big was born Christopher Wallace on May 21, 1972 in Brooklyn, New York. In addition to his stage name of Notorious Big, he was also nicknamed Biggie Smalls. Wallace became a close friend and associate of Sean Combs, and Combs is credited with helping Wallace break into the rap scene professionally. His parents are Voletta Wallace and Selwyn George Lator. He had a rough beginning in life. By age 12 he was selling illegal drugs on the street, avoiding his own mother's suspicions until he was an adult and charged with cocaine possession. He dropped out of high school before his musical career. Notorious Big fathered two children, a daughter named Diana with a longtime girlfriend when he was very young, and later a son with his wife, Faith Evans, who is named Christopher Wallace Jr. Tragically, Notorious Big was murdered on March 9, 1997 at the age of only 24. His death remains unsolved. On March 9, 1997, Christopher Wallace was killed by an unknown assailant in a drive-by shooting in Los Angeles. Sixteen days after, his Life After Death double disc set was released and became number one on the US album charts. In 2000, it was certified diamond and is one of the few hip-hop albums to receive such certification. Two more albums were released since his death and he has certified sales of 17 million units in the US. At the time of his death, Wallace had built a notorious big net worth that stood at $160 million. That figure has held steady since his death, particularly as Wallace became a martyr of sorts for hip-hop and rap music. He still has legions of fans who are loyal to his brand and to his music, buying his music and any memorabilia that bears his image or lyrics. Even in death, he stands out as one of the most financially successful rappers and performers of all time. Despite his life and career being cut tragically short, Wallace made a huge impact on the rap community in his time and his music is still popular today, 18 years after his death. He first contributed to several Mary J. Blige tracks, Real Love and What's the 411? He then went on to release his first single, Party and Bullshit and in 1994 released his first album, Ready to Die.